Good morning to you. I'm Danilo Evangelista, and welcome to our Tropical Weather Outlook, or I should say update on Hurricane Melissa. Uh, Going to be the first of probably multiple updates throughout the day today as Melissa is continuing to intensify and is on the verge now of becoming a hurricane. Uh, and let me actually show you the latest intensity from the National Hurricane Center fresh off the press uh, of the latest 11 a.m. advisory uh, that has come out just minutes ago. Um, at this point, only like 10, 15 minutes ago, the advisory came out. Maximum sustained winds are now at 70 miles per hour. Uh, minimum pressure at 982 millibars, uh, located at 16.5 north and 75.1 west, if you're tracking it on the, on the map, and it is moving west-northwest at one miles per hour and it is starting to gain that westward component so it's no longer moving uh to the north and uh, we're gonna have to watch very closely its direction now because that'll have a huge impact on um, how it's going to impact and where it might make landfall in jamaica but we're gonna go over more uh, on that as the weekend goes on and we continue to track melissa as it you know progresses here uh really quickly want to mention that Tropical Storm Sonia has formed in the Eastern Pacific. Uh, and let's really quickly just show you what it's going to do. Going to stay out to sea, remain a tropical storm, maximum sustained winds at 50 miles per hour, minimum central pressure 1,001 millibars, located at 13.5 north, 118.1 west, and moving west at 18 miles per hour. And as I showed you with the track, it's going to stay moving off to the west here will not be a threat to Mexico, so you won't have to worry about it. But of course, all of the attention right now is on Melissa. And here's the latest satellite image. And you could definitely see why we're all really concerned about Melissa. First of all, just notice the incredible outflow that you're beginning to see here on virtually all quadrants of the storm, but especially here in the more recent frames, the outflow really beginning to surge here on the Western side, uh, and especially on the Northern side, this has really, really pronounced outflow. And the reason why I mentioned that, the reason why I mentioned we have such pronounced outflow now is because that means there's no more shear that is impacting uh, Melissa. Uh, and it is now probably on its way to beginning its rapid intensification phase, uh, especially when you look at the current satellite presentation, it has that classic kind of hook or shrimpy kind of look where it has a band that kind of curls in uh, to the core here of Melissa, which as I'll show you in a minute, we now have a fully developed closed core um, with Melissa uh, and the recon was in there this morning and they did find that some intensification was occurring. The most recent uh, re uh, recon pass found 985 millibars of a pressure with a drop on, but I guess, um, you know, adjusting for extrapolation and stuff like that and potential wind that was found in the drop on. Uh, the National Hurricane Center obviously ended up going with 982 millibars. Um, and you know, you might say that 982 millibars, but the fact that this is not a hurricane yet, that might be a little weird. Uh, but that is a sign uh, that an intensification is happening. Uh, although sometimes as intensification happens, especially when it's very rapid, um, the wind tends to lag behind a little bit. Um, so that, you know, explains why we're not necessarily getting, uh, hurricane force winds yet, although the pressure is very low, but, uh, that is part of, uh, the beginning signs of rapid intensification. And I promise you, uh, in just a few short hours, the winds are probably going to spike up quite a bit. Uh, and this will definitely be a hurricane, um, this afternoon at latest, uh, would not be surprised by the five o'clock advisory. Heck, wouldn't even be surprised by the 2 p.m. update. Um, or they might even release if Recon finds anything interesting that stands out that, you know, certainly confirms that this is a hurricane. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens and we end up getting a special bulletin very shortly that, that somehow gets upgraded to a hurricane. Um, so there's that. But even by the 2 p.m., I would I would not be surprised if there's a hurricane. Bottom line, most definitely by later today, I think this will probably strengthen into a hurricane. Uh, and why is that? Well, not only, you know, we're talking about the pressure dropping and, you know, the wind is lagging behind a little bit, but the pressure dropping quite a bit. But 
Uh, this is the vortex data message from the drops on that recon dropped into the eye of Melissa. And they found the eyewall character here, this line, eyewall character closed, meaning that we have a fully developed closed eyewall. And you could actually see that as well on the latest microwave satellite shot from not long ago. I think this was from earlier this morning, but um, it's still relevant. Again, showing that the eyewall here or the central core structure of Melissa uh, is fully closed. It is no longer kind of opened on one side, um, you know, so that's preventing rapid intensification from occurring. Nope. Uh, now we have a fully closed eye. This storm is fully sacked, no longer has wind shear impacting it, and it's going to take off. I Again, it's probably going to take off later today, definitely going to strengthen to a hurricane, uh, and then eventually probably tonight become a major hurricane or overnight tonight and definitely by tomorrow morning become a major hurricane uh, and probably strengthen very rapidly from there. Uh, and then we're going to have to watch and see uh, what it does, especially with its track as it begins to turn to the north here. Um, and I think it's looking more and more, more confirmed, not just likely, but almost a certain that this is going to make landfall on Jamaica and more than likely more likely than not, unfortunately, uh, this probably will be a major hurricane at landfall uh, for Jamaica. I mean, it's pretty much what all of the models are showing now. Uh, and in fact, I'll even show you here with the track guidance uh, from the latest 12Z models. And <laughs> they literally all have a landfall directly on Jamaica. Now, it will depend um, what part of the island that... Um, Melissa will, will make a landfall on, and that is something that we're now going to have to watch very closely, especially with its very small short-term deviations with the track. Does it go a little bit more west? Does it go a little bit more north? Um, that will, you know, impact where specifically uh, on the island Melissa will make landfall. Um, and obviously that too will also have a significant impact on what the actual impacts that the storm will bring, such as storm surge, especially if this makes landfall more to the east enough, maybe the island of Jamaica or certain parts of the island will be able to avoid the worst surge. Or if this makes landfall right at the heart of the island, then pretty much the entire island will get, will, will get submerged in major hurricane force winds from Melissa. Uh, those are kind of the small things. And, you know, we, we really can't pinpoint down an exact location down to the very town that this will make landfall in along the island here uh, up until really about a few hours before landfall, to be completely honest with you. But um, it says something that pretty much all the model guidance now, um, around two or three days out, they now show a, a direct landfall um, on the island of Jamaica. And because of that, um, and I know I'm kind of maybe should have mentioned this a little bit earlier, but we do now have a hurricane warning in effect for the island of Jamaica. Uh, hurricane watch still in effect for southwestern peninsula of Haiti from the border within the Dominican Republic to Port-au-Prince. And we're obviously going to have to watch the track of Melissa very closely as well to see potentially if we might, you know, get impacts to places like Haiti uh, and whether or not we'll, we'll also get a landfall in Cuba as well, which more than likely that might happen, although obviously not showing up in the watches and warnings yet, but probably not going to be the case for long. Uh, and then we also have a tropical storm warning in effect right now for southwestern peninsula of Haiti from the border with the Dominican Republic to Port au Prince. So those are all the watches and warnings right now, but officially we now have a hurricane warning for Jamaica uh, and things are only going to get uh, crazier from here on out. Uh, this is going to begin to rapidly intensify later today. Uh, and again, I won't be, will not be shocked if uh, this becomes a major hurricane uh, by tomorrow morning. And by this time tomorrow morning, when I'm coming to you, uh, we'll be talking about major hurricane Melissa. Um, but for now, we still have to wait till this becomes a hurricane. But I assure you, it'll happen by later this afternoon or this evening. And I will definitely have another update for you by then. As I said before, going to be doing multiple updates from here on out up until Melissa no longer becomes or is no longer a major threat to anybody. 
which probably won't be for another few days because obviously we're going to have to deal with Jamaica for the next several days and then Cuba and then the Bahamas and then who knows, maybe even Bermuda. After that, it's going to be a long several days of tracking with Melissa and it is only just beginning. So please stay tuned because we're going to have a lot coming, not just today, but for this entire weekend and definitely quite a bit throughout the remainder of the week and into next week. With that being said, I'm going to end it off for this morning. Hope you found this video informative. Uh, and by the way, if I didn't go in, in depth into global models, I will be showing you more of the models on Melissa this, this evening. So please stay tuned for that. And if you want to stay tuned for that, uh, but you haven't already done so, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, share this video with family and friends, and pretty much anybody who might find this information very useful because I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of out pe a lot of people out there who really are, you know, they need to know what's happening, especially with Melissa, especially if you yourself um, is in Jamaica or even Haiti or even Cuba, or you know anybody in those areas, please feel free to share this video and get this information out to them. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you back here with more later on.